and Flea, check this out. She's got her little baby in her carrier there. Cammy's making breakfast over here. We got a little omelet bar going on. She's got mushrooms in hers. And all onions. And onions. And she made me a custom olive one, because that's my vice. This is leftover from our Costco haul yesterday. I feel better now because I'm restocking up on my olives. We got the sliced olives here and the backup cans. Baby's sick. He woke up this morning and I noticed that he had a temperature, which is always a bummer, especially with little kids because they can't really tell you what they need very well. It's times like these that makes me really thankful for when he's healthy because we take that for granted. I just plan on snuggling him or have one of the kids snuggle him most of the day. We are heading out to lunch, Flea and I. This is like my adult business lunch where I'm meeting with the chairman of the board of the company that I'm a shareholder in and I gotta talk about business stuff. But the nice thing is I'm taking the new, the new mini camera so I don't have to feel like I'm all like Mr. Vlogger guy for the entire time. What's up? All right, see you, John. We just finished our meeting. It went really well. I really enjoyed it. One of the uh, things I decided, it's probably three years ago, um, because I go to so many different meetings and my schedule's kind of crazy with leaving the house and traveling and stuff, less traveling now than it used to be, is that I'm always gonna take a kid with me wherever I go because there's so much opportunity just in walking to someplace or driving someplace or sitting in the car or waiting around that because we have a pretty loose homeschooling curriculum and schedule, just kids being exposed to adult conversations and negotiations and my kids have been to board meetings and shareholder meetings and negotiations and conversations and contract signings. It provides a lot of opportunity for really just like natural teaching, like apprenticeship opportunities just with time and exposure and it's better for me not to be alone. Sometimes I think there's all this pressure to like have to plan and do something with a kid where it's like, well, maybe just look for the opportunities that already exist and just include kids in the things even though they don't feel like child activities, they feel like adult activities. We don't believe that there's like a difference in the two. All right, let's go. <laughs> oh, it's raining. Crap, it's raining, we gotta run. Okay, 
we are back at Chick-fil-A. You guys remember last week. We got our ass kicked for 80 bucks here. I, unfortunately, I apologize about that. We're back to get our money. I got a new plan. Okay, we got these calendar cards, and these things were seven bucks each at the beginning of the year, and each of them is like good for a free thing every month. So we got one for each member of the family. Oh, hi, kisses. Oh, no. What can I get for you? We have this calendar thing. What kind of soup is that good for? Um, should be good for the chicken tortilla soup or the chicken noodle soup. And 21 cents. That was good. Thank you. We got it from like 37 dollars to 21 cents. There's a... Solid. 26 cents. A meal. Soup. 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 Water. Discount. 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 Total of 20 cents. 21 cents. We are going to a class as a family. We are going to get some dessert. The goal for today is to go as fast as possible. It is 10 o'clock and we got a ton of questions asked on Q&A, which is really fun. Uh, it's cool that people are interested and want to know about things like our life, like top, I, I don't know. It's like it's funny questions. Uh, they're funny to us. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> As always, we get our questions from Instagram and Facebook. The links to those things are in our YouTube description. While you're in our YouTube description, there's a few other bonuses. Uh, one is the ages of our children and all the names of everyone, which someone asked that. I always post that there, so I'm never gonna answer it in a Q&A. And I'm gonna post a special, super duper, bonus that I'm gonna tell you about at the end of Q&A. Stay tuned, remind me. Rhonda on Facebook asks, what happened to Tattoo Tuesday? It got cold and I don't wanna take my clothes off to film tattoos. Shelby asks, I would like to hear you guys talk about your opinion on whether or not Christians should be attending a church of some kind. Hmm. Tricky. I think Christians should be in community in some kind, shape, or form, and not necessarily attending a church sometimes isn't actually doing that, or can be. If the goal of the Christian life is to follow the Bible and obey God, we think there are a lot of things that are probably more important than attending a weekly service, but we're not against it. Amy asks, how did you get the idea for your Tuesday morning meeting together, and what would you say to couples considering doing the same. Love this Aww, question. I'm excited for you. Love it. Meetings are something that we do. Like in the business world, you have meetings to schedule things that are valuable and important to you. Now in the home life, a lot of times we don't schedule things. We just let what happens naturally. But, but I learned from the business world how to take things seriously because there's bottom lines and there's dollars you need to make. We think the family should be run um, with as much intensity, more so, 
than a business. Also, here's another thing we learned, is that if something's important to you, you won't just say it's important to you, it needs to be scheduled once a week minimum. Not, not like scheduled, like the schedule's not the point, but it needs to be happening regularly in your life. What helps us, what my advice would be, is to schedule it in such a way that you look forward to it, mm -hmm. then it's most likely gonna happen. So go out and splurge if that's your thing. If childcare is an issue, mm -hmm. buy like something special, like a special breakfast item. It could be bacon or coffee or I don't know, something that you think is special that tells you to go into that mode, like so you look forward to it. Mm -hmm. But try it, you know, just yeah. do it. Like write stuff down and it'll be a success, I think, um, eventually. Um, on the Instagram, Kelly Sam Samantha, that's a lot of Sams. Do you like where you live or would you someday want a different house with more land? Hmm, that's a great question. We've gone through the whole like, oh, we need like to be on a farm and grow our own chickens and all that kind of stuff. And I like the idea of that in a way, there's a romance to it, but we are really happy with where you're at and there's, there's two reasons why I wouldn't move right now. Um, one is I don't feel like I can really take care of the land that I have. I mean, we have little corners of our yard and I wanna make what we have awesome before I take on some huge project. You know, and this is gonna come up with another question. Let's just go there. Kelsey Anna asks, what did you do intentionally to get where you are now in the area of living in community? The best advice I've ever heard, um, I think it was C.S. Lewis actually, on how to choose where to live is you go where people are. The people that are most important in your life or the places that have the most potential to attract the people in your life, you go there. And in our life, we have bend over backwards to try to be around people. So we've bought houses in our neighborhood, we've bought houses for family, for friends. Um, I don't regret that. It's what has made community life possible, I think. So in regards to farming, you know, farming seems really sexy, but um, a, a hero of mine, Tim Keller, he says this crazy line that says something like, cities have more images of God per square inch than any place in the world. And what he means by that is, humans are the most special thing on the planet. And while there is a romance to being out and having a tire swing and all these things. We have a tire swing. We have a tire swing. Chickens. And like the reason why in the biblical narrative it starts at a garden and ends in a city is because that's where the people are. So I don't think we're gonna end up on a farm. Maybe we will. Hoogendor mm, says, Ben, what are those shoes you run in? They look really strange for running shoes. Are they comfortable? I'm assuming you're referring to my bedrock sandals, which are about that thin. They're laser thin. They are running sandals. I love them. Um, are they comfortable? Yes, but not in the way you might think. They change the way you run completely. Someone asked how they are in my spine. They're great because when you run in shoes like this, you can't heel strike, and you end up running on the balls of your foot, which strengthens like your calf in a crazy way, and it makes shock absorption so much better. It's better for your knees and everything. If you wanna read more about that, you can check out the book, Born to Run. OMG Meg asks, what social justice issues are important to your family? I'm not really sure what you mean by social justice. Yeah. I hit cars that don't obey the crosswalk laws. Dude, are you um, kidding me? And then we make this vlog and we pay our taxes. Laylocked on Instagram says, why are you, Cami, often wearing your blue, greenish winter jacket within the house? Is it cold in there? I'm wondering because often in those moments you're wearing it, your children are wearing much thinner sweatshirts. In our house, it is, can you see that? 57 degrees. We usually keep our house set to 61. A lot of times I like to wear my down jacket and our kids have down jackets if they want to wear them, but they tend to not get as cold as me. <laughs> they like walk around with bare feet and stuff. The reason why we keep the heat where we do, um, we don't use a lot of air conditioning. We try and use minimal heat um, because it just doesn't seem to, help us much to be 100% comfortable. I like being in touch with the seasons. I like feeling the change of the seasons, at least in a big picture way. I mean, we do get cold and I hate being cold, <laughs> ironically, but then we have a fire in the living room and it draws the family together. So we use heat in a way where it's not just the right, 
but it actually benefits our life in some ways. And I think in our culture, we view climate control as like a base human right. And I don't think it is. Here's what I'm excited about for you guys. There's a lot of questions on here that I just don't have the energy to answer because we've answered them so many times before and it's just like um, not complicated answers, it's just like information. But I'm really excited there are a bunch of new people asking these questions. So I'm gonna release something I've never released before and this is a top secret document. We gotta make our top secret document face right now for the thumbnail. <laughs> My top secret document face is very different from yours. Do you want me to copy you? I don't know, just no, go with your thing. This document is the document that I use to sort out all of our vlog episodes. And what it has here is the episode number, the title of the vlog, the link to the actual YouTube page, the date that it was filmed, the date it was published, and everything in every single vlog episode. So what you can do is you can go and read through the things that are interesting to you here and see if you find anything that you like and then click on it over there. Or if you're like, dang, I really wanna hear about Cammy and Ben's sex life again. You do this, you type in, what is that? It used to be Apple, I call it Apple F, but it's really like Command F. And then this little guy pops up up here in the corner and you type in sex. 21 times it's mentioned and it shows you all the places that it's mentioned. You can just go through all of them. That's all for Q&A today. Uh, thanks guys. Really excited yes. about all these questions. I hope this document helps you. I'm actually gonna put it in the link to every video from now on so you just have this link there. Oh, geez. Okay. That's for the ultra fight for together nerds. Yeah. You know, not all you got your questions answered. Can you please ask it in the comments because um, I think there's other people that will be happy to answer them and will be, get you better answers than we will.